Hey everyone and welcome back to another graphics card repair video. I have already diagnosed the issue that this graphics card has in a previous video of mine. Um, as a matter of fact, it's the second one, second video that I ever uploaded to this channel. So um, I already know what's wrong with this thing. And uh, by extension, I also already know what needs to be replaced. The thing is, uh, when I was doing the diagnosis, I didn't have a replacement part and that has finally changed and I can properly fix this thing up. Let me show you what is wrong with this and give you a quick recap of the diagnosis. Now, this right here is the problem area. Um, one, U10 is missing and two, uh, you can kind of tell that uh, there's a ripped pad. After I did the diagnosis video on this graphics card, I tried a few more things, but actually ended up uh, knocking this resistor and its pad right here off of the board, which kind of sucks. Um, but the issue was U10, or rather some, I don't know what was originally here, or what exact chip. Uh, but uh, this is the PEX voltage regulator for this graphics card and um, it stopped working. It was dead and that is the reason obviously why this thing doesn't power on or at least I'm assuming it is because again it, I wasn't able to fix it at the time. Well that's going to change today because I have this thing right here which um, has the same pinout as the chip that was originally here. So. Uh, can use that. However, um, this thing right here works a bit differently than the one that was originally there, so I will not only have to well put this chip on there, but you see these empty pads right here, these four ones? These are the resistors that are on the feedback pin of this little voltage regulator right here, and um, the original resistors that were here would make this chip output a different voltage than what this GPU needs, right? So I will have to put this chip on here and I will also have to put these resistors there. You can see I've already removed the ones that were originally there. I've got the ones that I need to put there off to the side here. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. Just a quick fix, something that I had wanted to do for quite a while because this is, as you can see, a GPU with a green PCB, and I kind of like that if I'm being honest. It's something that you don't see a lot these days. So, uh, you know, just like with the previous GTX 580, this thing is uh, going to go into my collection of GPUs. But of course, only after I have benched it. And in order to do that, I need this thing to work. And I guess with that said, let's get right to it. Can I add some flux. Okay, so the chip is in place. Now I need to put this teeny tiny capacitor, uh, sorry, resistor into place. That one is on the board. And here is the other one. And there's that one. Now the last thing that I need to do, uh, obviously because I ripped the pad here, I will have to run a jumper wire from this end of the resistor to right here so that there's a connection from the output, which is right here, this pin right here. And uh, the voltage divider here obviously needs to be attached to the output as well as to ground, which is this end of this resistor right here, that's ground, and this one is output. Now the soldering iron tip that I'm using for this is way too big, but I don't have another one on hand right now, so that'll be interesting. But I will need some jumper wire. Now one might expect that I actually have proper jumper wire here 
for these kinds of jobs, but that's actually not the case. Uh, instead, what I usually do is I just take, you know, regular old wire right here. I strip it, strip the wire, and then I take one of these, let me show you. I just take one of these individual strands of wire right here to recreate connections. There you go. That's now attached. Just gonna break this off right here. And this should now be a continuous path. I'm gonna touch up this capacitor really quickly. I'm just going to quickly check if that jumper wire is in fact doing what it's supposed to do. I'm going to put one probe there and another probe onto this capacitor right here. And as you can hear, the multimeter beeps, which means there is a connection. Now, this should work now, um, provided I didn't kill anything in the process of soldering. So. Let me give it a quick test and see if it actually works. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna power this thing on. And as you can see, PEX is present, system posted as you can hear, core is present, memory is present as well, which means it is working. And with that, this was yet another graphics card repair. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Any support in any way, shape or form is genuinely and greatly appreciated and does go a long way in keeping new content just like this coming. And lastly, I wish you guys an absolutely amazing day and I hope to see you guys again in the very next video. Have a good one.